This week's coffee is going to be Kenya Katrina Double A. Everybody and welcome to In My Mug, episode 199. On Monday, the 3rd of September 2012. And today, I am sad. And you should be sad too. As this is the last In My Mug, my best friend, top roaster, Andy Stockton, will be roasting for us. Ever since In My Mug started, 190, well it's not, it's about 170 odd times, Andy has been here to roast it. Um, it's really been on holiday and stuff, but was fairly fundamentally making it into a subscription idea. Um, and why you get it every week with him and his friend Simon G, who is also a subscriber. So it's a sad day. He leaves us next week to go to his new life in Los Angeles with his family. Uh, and I'm sure that we're all going to wish him very well and wish him the best with it. And... Um, if there's enough comments, emails, uh, maybe I get him on the brand new in my mug next week as a special guest. Oh, I can't tell you about that yet, can I? Exciting times, though. So, sadness tinged with excitement. It's going to be a, an exciting time. So, coffee, coffee, coffee. That's what we talk about. We talk about coffee, and I know lots of you have been waiting for this day where we spoil you with a Kenyan. Um, we have two Kenyans at the moment. Both very different styles uh, and both worth trying, but obviously we can only do one at a time. So we shall do Katrina first, which, so Caratina even. So Caratina comes from the Caratina Mill, which is based in the central province of uh, Marithia uh, and comes from a cooperative of 1,400 farmers who produce around about 785 tonnes of coffee between them all, which is a heck of a lot of coffee. Um, the elevations of the area range from 1,700 metres to 2,000 metres, which is fairly typical for Kenya. Um, has a mixture of varietals, mainly composed of SL28, SL34, Rowu, uh, Rowu 11 and Batian, um, and are all very typical for the area. This is a fully washed, submerged underwater, sun-dried coffee using African drying beds um, instead of patios. And that's pretty much where lots of the information stops with this coffee. Um, this is a problem when you buy from cooperatives. There aren't individuals or, or, or specific things to talk about so much. But we can talk about numbers. So it's a Caratina factory stroke mill uh, affiliated to the Baraka Farmers Cooperative Society, which is in the central province of Kenya uh, in the Marithia district near to Caratina, which is the, the, the nearest town. Um, Average number of trees per farmer, 250, which is, a tree will produce about a pound of coffee, so around about 450 grams of coffee, um, but annually they produce 785,853 kilos. Wow. So, yeah, the bit you've been waiting for, it's the very vague map bit. It's the map bit. No expense spent, it's the map bit. And here we go. And actually, since I've recorded the In My Mug, I have a little bit more information. So the coordinates that we're going to go to are the exact coordinates of the washing station, which is pretty cool. The sad part is that there's not a great deal of detail. But as you can see, Katrina is smack bang in the middle of Kenya. I mean, really in the heart of, of where we are. And this gives you a little idea of the typography of, uh, of the place, just to get, you know, that this is a, a hilly, mountainous uh, part of um, part of Kenya and, and, and a hilly kind of growing region. So, um, yeah, that was the slightly more surprising map bit with a little bit more information than I thought I was going to be able to give you. So time for the Wheel of Death, and this week it's going to be Macchiato. Now, what is a Macchiato? I hear you screaming at me. I know most of you know. Well, it's a coffee drink made out of espresso with a small amount of milk added to it to mark 
or stain it. Um, espresso stained or marked with milk. Traditionally, it's one shot of espresso with a very small amount of milk added to the top. Um, and there's a reason I'm doing this one this week. I know the Wheel of Death is random, but this maybe isn't so random. Um, is that I tend to not like espresso from Kenya's, where this will make it much more enjoyable and drinkable for me. So I'm being selfish. But it just for me, the acidity tends to be a little bit too much in, in, in espresso, and this will just take some of that acidity away and make it much more uh, palatable. So let's go make these tasty drinks, and I'll be back in a tick. And I'm back. So I'm going to drive straight into the macchiato. So, even with the mark of milk, it's too much. It's too much for me. There's too much acidity. I'm getting the oranges and I'm getting the peaches. But if you have oranges and peaches, like they're acidic, and when you get such an intensity of it and you add milk, for me, it doesn't work. I know thousands of you will be screaming, I like getting you in my espresso. That's great. I'm really, really happy for you. But for me, I really, really don't. <sighs> Let's go into the kappa. It's a bit better. There's a bit more milk. It's a bit more tame. But it's still, oranges and milk don't go together for me. They just don't. But this is where I really am going to join. So I've made a Chemex of this. This is another mug that I brought back from my Canada trip. It's really sad. People used to buy me mugs. Now I have to buy my own when I go on my travels. Hint, hint. So, um, yes, this is going to be... This is where I am going to be amazed. I'm going to be excited. I can't wait. So... See? Now, this is what Kenyas are about for me. Peaches. Oranges. Jelly top. Have had jelly tots, sugary sweets, they're like, they're, they're delicious anyway. That's this. There's a whole heap of fruits coming in there. It's sweet, but acidic, lovely. In espresso, it just tastes like too much acidity for me. I like that very much. So, Kenya Caratina uh, from the Caratina Mill, which is grown by the Barikua. Farmers Cooperative Society uh, from the central province of Kenya, uh, near to Marithia, uh, altitude 1,700 to 2,000 meters, uh, annual production uh, hundreds of thousands of kilos of coffee. But we have something that's a bit special here from, from their, their, their special selection. So, 199. It's a big number. I have done this in my mug 199 times. It's huge. And we've been doing this whole background thing since 150. But I think it's time to go and get rid of it. This is where I stand and do in my mug, in here. This is where I do it. So, next week's going to be a bit different. We're going to be mixing it up again. It's time to take in my mug to the next level. Uh, I would really like your feedback on next week's. I, I want you to be really excited about what's coming because I am. Uh, I think it's going to be huge. I think we're really going to be seeing some differences. If you would like Andy to be the first special guest on the new In My Mug as well, then um, you know, please do put in the comments because it is sad that we're going to be losing not only my, not only my roaster, uh, but also probably my closest friend. And um, yeah, it's going to be a very sad day. So maybe we should get him on and, and I'll try not to cry when, he, when he's on and we, and we say goodbye to him. But um, in my mug next week is going to be huge. I cannot wait to share it with you. I hope that you will enjoy it too. We have lots of new features, lots of new ideas and lots of opportunities for you to get involved. Um, talking about the mug thing, you know, when I was saying I had to buy this mug, if you wanted to give the mug for episode 200, it could be a really good time for me to make big noise about it and I would love it. I love like interacting with you guys. Anyway, shut up Steve. Time to go. Um, listen, life is too short for um, missing in my mug different format so I, I hope that you enjoy it but definitely as always life is definitely, 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 definitely too short. Goodbye.